Hello and welcome to another video by Haste Computer Repair. And today I'll be taking a look at the Lenovo Think Center M700 Tiny Desktop PC. This particular model shipped with a Intel Core i5-6500T CPU with a base frequency of 2.5 GHz and a max frequency of 3.1 GHz. And this is the lower power draw version of the regular desktop i5-6500 with a TDP of 35 watts as compared to 65 watts. We also have 8 gigabytes of DDR4 2400 MHz silicon power RAM installed. I would probably plan to upgrade this to 16 gigabytes at least just to create a more smooth and fast experience. Um, however, you can install up to 32 gigabytes at least according to the product specifications. And we have a Kingston 240 gigabyte A400 solid state drive. Um, this also supports NVMe, so that would be an even better solution. There's an Intel dual band wireless AC8260 Wi Fi card installed, which also includes Bluetooth 4.1. For graphics, we have an Intel HD Graphics 530, and we'll be testing some games later on. On the front I.O. we have 2 times USB 3.0 microphone and headphone input, the power button, and this front air grill, which I would imagine would help draw in cool air for the CPU fan. On the rear I.O. we have 1, 2, 3, 4 USB 3.0 RJ45 Ethernet port. Also here is the antenna for the Wi-Fi card. Unfortunately, I don't have one to screw in here, but it still connects fine. We also have two display ports and one power input for either a 65 watt or 90 watt power adapter. One interesting modular feature is right here for the display port options. Here we have a third display port, but you can also put VGA or HDMI. So let's open this thing up and take a look inside. We just have one screw right here that we'll need a Phillips head screwdriver to remove. And now we can push the top lid this way using this little security tab. So here we have the inside and I've already taken the time to service and clean this thing. So here is the CPU fan shroud, uh, the blower style fan blowing warm air out this way to the rear of the machine. And one nice thing about this setup is it is a socketed CPU and you could install up to an i7-6700T 4-core 8-thread CPU, which is kind of cool. Now I'm not going to take the time to show you the CPU, but you can access it just by removing these screws right here, lifting up the CPU fan shroud, and then further removing these two screws to access the heat sink, which you can then remove to get to the CPU. And here's where I've installed the 2.5 inch solid state drive. And this can be released by... And if you were to replace it or access what's underneath, now you can gently remove this hard drive caddy, pull out the solid state drive, and it comes out just like this. Just be careful because we do have a Wi-Fi antenna right here. And if you pull too hard, you will take it right off the Wi-Fi card, which I just did. It's okay, it's just very small and I find it kind of a pain to put back on. So anyway, all right, so underneath that hard drive caddy, we have two DIMM slots for RAM. And right now I just have the single 8 gigabyte stick installed. Here is the M.2 SSD slot right here with a nice little plastic tab in place of a screw. You could install something like this and that would actually be probably really good for performance or for dual boot drives or extra storage. Um, so it's kind of cool just to have the option. Of course, there is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. And right here is that extra display port, which can be swapped out and then further plugged into the motherboard right there. I really like the accessibility of this design. It allows the technician to easily access upgrades and extra solutions for the workplace. So using this PC for general tasks uh, should be perfectly fine. You can do things like browse the net for anything that you might need. As long as you have a solid internet connection, you should be totally good. Websites should load totally fine. You should be able to toggle between watching YouTube videos, doing work, 
Um, I know for things like I do at work, it would be totally fine to use something like this and with relative ease. Though, as I keep stating, the CPU is of a lower power draw. It still is a four core, four thread CPU and totally possible for multitasking. So due to the power and speed limitations of the T series of the i5-6500 CPU and Intel HD Graphics 530, I'm not gonna bother playing anything other than light games. And of course that is always a really good option. I don't think this is going to be very good for things like eSport games here. And we'll try out Jay and Silent Bob Mall Brawl first. So so a game like this, of course, isn't very demanding, but it's just a good example of a different variety of games you can play. And simple puzzle games like King Rabbit, uh, easy to play, and lots of fun. And Poyo Poyo Tetris. All right, and there's always the games like Left 4 Dead 2, where you should get some pretty good performance, at least playing 1080p on full screen. So that concludes my look at the Lenovo Think Center M700 Tiny PC. And would I recommend this for use in 2023? Absolutely. It's definitely a good budget option if you just need a PC for general use. Something small that won't take up a lot of desk space, uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. There's lots of expansion available. And of course, with the different storage and RAM options, you can have a really fast little system that can keep up with a lot of more modern devices. So if this is something you're looking for and it's at the right price, I'd say give it a shot. And if you're already using one in 2023, let me know and let's talk about it in the comments or if you feel like I missed something important. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a relaxing day.